Hello, hello Maker fans. My name is Joe Valdivia and uh, I'm a controls technician for a, a Northwest a wood products manufacturer and I've been using ignition in my job for about the last five years. Um, what we usually do with it, we do dashboards with it, we do reporting, um, we do HMI development and recipe management. So when Maker came out, I thought that was awful cool. It's, it's always good. It's always nice when the community gets some software they, they can uh, work with and tinker with. I mean, it, it helps everybody kind of build on what they have and, you know, and, and they can really make their stuff at home awesome. So what I've done with it is on the right, on the right over here, you'll notice that uh, there's a program running. And what it does, it's uh, I, what I did is I took uh, Ignition and I loaded onto like one of these. This is a Jetson Nano. And if you guys aren't familiar with it, it's basically a Raspberry Pi with a GPU on it. So, uh, and it's developed specifically for uh, video processing. So, these are fairly cheap. They run from $59 and you can get, there's a, a little bigger version that's $399, but this one here is $99. It's called a Jetson Nano. So I loaded on to, to uh, basically everything you can do on the Raspberry Pi, you can do on it. So what I did is I loaded uh, Ignition Maker onto it, and I also loaded the, uh, the I loaded a database on it, put MySQL on there. Um, and also what I did is I put, uh, uh, how I'm communicating with uh, the Jetson Nanos, I'm using the MQTT. And if you notice what's going on here is like, um, you can choose, there's 52 objects you can choose from. And if uh, it recognizes it and you got it over here, it actually counts it. So what I'm doing is how I'm uh, connecting the ignition to the Jetson Nano is I'm using MQTT. And uh, I'm using the Cyrus Link uh, MQTT module. So that's really nice. It works really good. I use the... Um, uh, I use their examples that they have, and I just kind of modify them to work with the uh, the Jetson Nano. And the Jetson Nano, what it's doing is it's running uh, this program called DeepStream, and it's a video processing. And then what it is, it's streaming the video out with the annotations on it. And uh, what it does is uh, it streams out, and then it's converted to a, a, a H, uh, HTTP stream. And that's how the 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 in the maker is accepting it. And like I say, these are all when you click on one of these, you can select something, and uh, it, it sends it the 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 what you select via MQTT to the the Jetson Nano. Now, um, right now I'm running a folder, a file right here, but uh, uh, pretty soon it'll switch over to an actual video. I uh, I'm running the webcam. Now, I have. If you guys want to do this at home, I have a website and it's all, it has a couple of, I'll show you. I have a YouTube channel and it's all right here how to get the uh, Jetson Nano to uh, load uh, Ignition, how to load the MySQL on there. How to run it with Node Red? Um, how to use the ignition with the GPIO pins? Like I say, everything that you can do with uh, a Raspberry Pi, you can do with uh, the Jetson Nano. Now, as you can see, now in a minute, it's going to switch over to like a live stream, and what it is, it's it's actually going to count the the silverware and the forks on a table. Nice when the. Uh, uh, like a software company comes out with a community edition because it, it gives everybody uh, you know uh, a chance to tinker and I notice a lot of people they really like that and, and they you can learn a lot from tinkering you can do you know you can get your skills you can like I say you can really set your house up to be pretty cool so and like I say since this is on a ignition uh, maker you know you can access with your phone so I have an application on my phone I actually run this on my phone. So here, let's uh, move this a little forward here. See, and here's the application where it's act. This is a live stream, and it's picking out all the you know bottles and bananas and all this stuff. So and then it's counting them. Like you can 
you can go down here, you can select whatever they are, and whatever they are, it notices, you can count them. So uh, that's about it. Like I say, it's like it's uh, you know, I, it's really, it's really nice to have a, a the maker out there for everybody. I, I hope you know people adopt it like much more because it's really, it's really nice. There's a lot of potential in there. Like you could hook up to a PLC. So I mean, it's really, really nice. So like I said, if you guys want to have all the instructions right here to install all this and get yourself running, and I have a website here. It's called the AI Triad, and what happens, there's a link to the tutorials for doing that. There's a link to the GitHub repo, and that, that has all the Python programs that I'm using to run this, and it also has the, uh, I exported the, the uh, Ignition Maker application, so it's in there also, and uh, you'll find that there. And then down here, I have a link to Ignition Maker. And a lot of these other things, these are just links to like help you kind of do stuff. So, well, um, good luck with uh, what you guys are doing. I, I think it's really awesome for Ignition to give us a, a new toy to play with. So, uh, thank you very much. Bye.